Everybody wants to know who I'm fighting next. If you guys don't know already, it doesn't look like the Kingpin final is going to happen. From what I've heard is money is an issue. Some of the fighters don't even want to fight on the date that the zone have set. Luckily, I was paid for my last two fights. You know, I learned that the hard way when I fought Michael Lee. You know, influencer boxing is still a very new thing, so you have to be very careful. You can't just take someone's word for it. You got to make sure it's written down with pen and paper. I, of course, want to stay active, so I wanted to get at least one more fight this year so i looked at misfits i looked at the prime card and seen if there was any opportunities i could get on you know i'm not scared to fight anyone i want to get in the ring with the biggest the best i thought a great idea would be to fight winderson nunez on the misfits card you know it makes sense we both just lost in the kingpin tournament so we're both coming back for redemption kind of like an unofficial finale from kingpin to misfits if that makes sense but unfortunately it doesn't seem like he's down at all you know i don't know what it is i can't say you know i'm not him so that was the first duck and after that i was like okay who can i fight on this prime card i need to be on this card i called out deji in a little video i tweeted at him you know a lot of people saw it you know said there would have been a great fight he never tweeted back or responded to me so i guess that's the second duck deji doesn't want to fight me you know i see a lot of people saying it would be a great fight we've both been in the ring you know with floyd mayweather it's a good storyline to go off we both lost trying to come back for redemption he wants to go for the easier fights i'm trying to go for the hard fights so there's not much i can do so who else? That's when Salt Pappy's name was mentioned and it all kicked off. Our teams were talking and it seemed like the fight was going to happen. He wanted to fight. I wanted the fight. From what I heard, he was set to fight Blueface. And then, you know, Blueface got stabbed. He got injured. He couldn't fight. So he had to pull out. And, you know, I was told, yep, yeah, it's 99% on. You're going to be fighting Salt Pappy. And then all of a sudden, one day, I get a call from my manager saying, yep, yeah, Salt Pappy, he's not fighting you. There's, you know, um, politics or something going on. Essentially, Soul Pappy did want to fight me, but it was out of his hands. I don't really know how it makes sense, but that's what I was told. I made some tweets about, you know, all these people I've been trying to get on the Prime card. All of these people ducking me, not wanting to fight me. Frazier even tweeted a text from Keemstar saying Jarvis vs. Soul Pappy, October 14th. And then that's when it really went off. Phase K, Phase Jarvis. You both tweeted out, these are the list of fighters that are ducking Jarvis for the Prime card, October 14th. How is Soul Pappy ducking Jarvis? Let me make this clear right now we accept i accept too let's get the fight going let's get the contract signed you know as simple as that now for some reason the fight is not happening you didn't get the deal done through misfits so tell the fucking world the truth what is the truth team i'm not being told anything i'm being told there's politics going on you know it's out of our hands we can't do anything so that's not really a reason that's just kind of an excuse don't say we duck don't lie we accept we publicly accept the fight so keen publicly accepted i accepted that's yeah. kind of where it ends didn't go through essentially so pappy has already uh got an opponent i don't think i can say who it is who i think it is it's looking like jarvis versus soul pappy is not gonna happen either not yet and then just when you thought it was all over a day later king kenny posted this video little gibber has ducked me what a shame so i'm calling him out publicly to see if he has any balls to fight me on the prime card now if he does it I'm gonna reach into his balls and find his son, Jarvis. See, this is this was kind of funny. This is kind of funny. You've been talking a lot of shit about <laughs> me throughout the whole of the tournament. King Kenny, he's an easy opponent. It's only right for me to put Jarvis into his place and knock him out because Gib could knock him out. Come on. And then he goes on to talk about Slim and he he pretty much calls out anyone. Gibber, me, Slim. I'm like, oh my God, you know, someone's actually down to fight. Let's go. October 14th, I quickly text Jordan. I was like, yes, I want to fight Kenny 100%. I'm already training for a fight. So when I know my opponent, I can just train even harder. Publicly on Twitter, I said, I'm down to fight. Let's run it. Kenny then quote tweeted that, put up a poll of, you know, who do you want to see me fight? Jarvis, Anthony Taylor. The fans vote and 52% was for me and 48% was for Anthony Taylor. So my manager was like, all right, I'll talk to Mams, you know, we'll see what we can do. So then essentially Mams got back to my manager saying he doesn't know why Kenny even made this video. Kenny already had an opponent locked in for the prime card. So then Jordan gets to me saying, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. I think he kind of just made that video for no reason, maybe just for views or maybe he just doesn't want to fight his current opponent. So who am I fighting next? 
I don't know. Mams, who pretty much runs Misfits, said that me versus Austin McBroom would be a great fight. And, you know, I completely agree. I definitely dislike him. He lost to Gib twice. I've lost to Gib once. Kind of makes sense. So maybe that's the fight you'll be seeing soon. But I'm ready to fight anyone. And you will definitely, I can say, see me in the ring one more time this year.